Well, hello, everybody. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Damon. I'm Joe. We're the Lola Brothers. And we're back. We're back. We made it. We're back for number four. <laughs> number four. I can't believe they let us in here. This is kind of getting <laughs> exciting, you know? We're, we're learning stuff. We learned a lot about last week, and we learned a lot of what not to do. That was really uh, essential, I think, too. Yeah, we've been learning a little the bit every week of the what brand. not to do, huh? <laughs> we usually <laughs> learn more of what not to do than what to do. Yeah, I would say one day we should learn what to do. Yeah, that, that would, would be better. Help, yeah. Yeah. And check our facts before we... Well, I think that's going to be hard-pressed to check yeah. our facts. We're not good at that. So we, we don't <laughs> waste our time. That. We're not going to waste our time with facts. And uh, we don't care. thanks for watching, and thanks for joining us. Uh, we're Welcome to Think Tech. Uh, we're raising public awareness about technology, energy, globalization, and diversification. Wow. We're gonna Amazing. give you. We're gonna give you some news, which will be pretty cool. Mm. You know. So we got uh, some crazy news. We're coming today. to you from Pioneer Plaza on the down of. Uh, the core of beautiful downtown Honolulu. Beautiful. Uh, the Pioneer Plaza is the home of the Plaza Club. The Plaza Club. The Plaza Club. I think it's one oh, of those lovely. Let's go, let's go, go to the cocktail. Plaza Club. Yeah. What do you think? Speaking of cocktails. <laughs> Speaking of cocktails. This is we better great. talk about this before our guest comes on because well, she's, she's underage. Young, and yeah. we'll just get this out of the way now because it's so, like here's all our alcoholic. Related. So here's our current event. Uh, oh, yeah, and it's our current event for the day, too. So. Joe likes it. When can we I read it? About. You can. Please Here pull it out. Today's current event is Budweiser. Budweiser. Beer giant the tries king of to beer. buy its biggest rival. Is that mm. a monopoly? The makers of Budweiser aren't satisfied with owning the king of beers. Oh, they got to have it all. They want to be. You know, for some people. They want global dominance. For some people, it's not. <laughs> I know it's some about people the money. want I global gotta, dominance, but. You give them three Maseratis, they want beer. four. On a massive scale. On a massive Global scale. Global dominance. Well, Budweiser's... On a massive scale from a beer company. So Anheuser-Busch in Bev, the world's biggest brewer, announced Wednesday its desire to buy number two Miller. 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 How's that? I've always liked the There'll Miller be no better. There'll be no more Miller and Bud Wars. We uh, grew up with Miller and Bud Wars. <laughs> I grew up with Rainier and Olympia, but I'm from uh, Seattle. You must so be from Seattle. So we're uh, creating a beer maker with an annual sales of 73 Billion. That's a B. Billion dollars. That's a lot. More than three times its closest rival, Heineken. Heineken's the yeah. third? Closest rival. That's actually uh, kind of a stunning. And then we have another alcohol Oh, yeah, related. this is the one that this really This is kind of me. amazing, because we just found this by accident. Yeah, we were flipping through the news and, today looking for you know, something. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yo, San Francisco. Francisco. Taco Bell. Of all places. And Chicago. Chicago, of all places. Of all places. <laughs> to serve alcohol. In a Taco Bell. Taco so Bell. you can go to Taco Bell, and uh, what kind of beer goes with the Chalupa, Joe? I don't know. I was kind of wondering <laughs> what kind of wine went with. Wow. Yes, I'd like the oh. 32 Pure. I'll take a glance. Oh, I wonder if like Mad Dog 2020 and tacos. Is that what it is? Oh, that'd be good. That's kind of good. Wait, vintage, vintage 1977. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, or Boone's Farm. Boone's that Farm would be really good. You know, we used to always have a bottle of Boone's Farm. In that case, you might as well just order the fruit punch. In case you had, <laughs> case you had girls over, you had so something. So that was today's current of events. That's pretty cool, that was man. That pretty interesting, yeah. So well, who's uh, next, McDonald's? Are we getting any tweets today? Yeah, we're uh, out there on Twitter at uh, Think Tech Hawaii. You can tweet us because we like being tweeted. Yeah, yeah. we like to kind be tweeted. Kind of a new thing for well, us. Well, so. if you tweet us, we'll definitely say something. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, we're supposed to do that. That was one of the things about, we learned uh, last week. What do we got today? What else you got? What there? do we got today? You know, um, mm. what did we do last weekend? We've had a pretty busy last couple weeks, man. Last weekend, well, Friday. Friday, Friday was. We had our band. That I'm Joe's in a band. It was their very first okay, show with neat. these members. We only did four songs, and it was late, but I, we had fun. It was interesting. I actually made a really nice video for them, and they chose not to do it you know, because not you know how musicians are. Oh, it didn't look good. I, 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 I didn't know. Wow. We, we, I played that. I missed that one part. <laughs> musicians, I tell ah. you. Hey, if you're on Facebook, go on the Lola Brothers page and chime in on there. Yeah. We're still waiting for that to happen. We're waiting I think for that's that better happen. than being tweeted, <laughs> being fabooked. We're not going to go we're back on the book this week. On the whole tweet thing again. That's going to be the third week in a row. I know, but we're it's really getting tweet. old. You know, it's there. I want right to use on. it. 
Um, so, I jammed uh, the week before at the station. That was a lot of fun. That was fun, yeah. Um, station is always fun because it's so small. Blaine is awesome. We yeah. love the station. They have it's great crazy. lights. They Our got next guest good has cocktails. played at the station. Yeah. Yes, she has. I've played with her at the station yeah. Yeah. on an acoustic night. I do acoustic nights from oh, time to time. That was the same night. Do you want to show that video or no? Or yeah. Of me jamming? Yeah, let's yeah. show that one real quick. Okay. Then we don't oh, wait, we got so a Twitter. Two, two bad beers under one umbrella. Why not? Why not? As a Chicagoan, I'm all in favor for the Taco Bell with alcohol. But not Budweiser. Right on, Mark. Right Wherever on, you Mark. are. Thanks that for is... tweeting us. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great, man. Yeah, another, we got our first tweet. Was, well, actually, well, our, that was a second tweet. tweet. But Donna, Donna, I don't know if Donna really counts. Donna got us. No, yeah. she totally counts. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, let's Sorry, show the Donna. video of me jamming. It's like only a couple minutes. I think we can Yeah, we don't have to talk so much. through that, yeah. Take a break. All right. Yeah. Two minutes of me. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that right there. Yeah. Is that an original? It is an original. I usually do originals when I do Acoustic Night because uh, I oh. write songs, man. I, you know, like all the music before and the little animations and stuff, I'm doing a lot that of that. kind of brings us to like covers versus originals, huh? Yeah. yeah. We're it's, kind of like, I'm originals and he's... like so many times, it's ridiculous. I'm totally originals and he's totally covers, so we've got the whole, both sides of the well, game. you know, back covered. in the day when you played in a bar, you played covers. Covers. Yeah. So, I get bar that. Bar bands. We're not go, trying to go anywhere, so right. we just want to play covers. Well, I was from Seattle, and man, uh, bar bands, you know, had, if you wanted to play in a bar, you, you had to play covers. And we fought so hard to get originals in bars that once we could get original music in bars, we just never looked back. We just was like, no, it's, it's all in the creating and the... You know, and the scenes here are a lot different. There's a lot of original music. And yeah, some people want to go out and have a good time and, you know, what mode that? Like listen to some Van Halen. It was mid 90s, yeah. 90s. I was a, I'm an old grunge rocker from Seattle. Sorry grunge about that. Grunge rocker, right there. huh? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's, my, that's my historical background. There oh, it is. I'm still so. just an old rocker. Yeah. <laughs> We're the same age. We are the same age. But I like old, just old yeah. and moldy rock and roll. Okay. So we got time for that next video that we're going to do. We got our next guest coming up. Callie Ann's our next guest. And uh, if you don't know about her, she's, she's a rocker. Uh, this kid can rock. Can and really, now she's an actress. So Yeah, we're yeah. going to talk she's about that places. for sure. So and, we'll uh, be back with she her. She plays sure. guitar probably better than both of us. I don't want to play I, with her. We don't she's want not to her own. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. Look, but 
We didn't sure. even bring the guitar. Yeah, today. We're, we were like, ah, we, we don't shame. need a guitar today. We're we had right. too much shame. That's okay. She, she, she brought her guitar. <laughs> we're, we're good with that. So, yeah, um, so anyways, the here's a video play, of right. Kellyanne. She had a premiere. I don't know when that was. A couple for months ago. For originals. For original. For her, her original sand, music. Her yeah. sand. Well, they believe it was this album right here. And and we were at the show, and I took a nice little video, and here it is now. So enjoy that. Here's the deal. Um, I'm Jay Fidel. I'm the host of uh, Hawaii, the State of Clean Energy, which is the Energy Policy Forum's program on Wednesday. That's how we call Wednesday Energy Wednesday. We call it Energy Wednesday every Wednesday. <laughs> Are you surprised? Okay, and we and we try to we get guys like Jim Alberts here from Hawaiian Electric who can tell us what's really going on in energy. We want to be informed. It's so important. It's the most important initiative in our state. <laughs> Clean energy is major, okay? And that's how we cover it on this show. That's the deal. What do you think, Sharon? I think that's great. That's why we're here every Wednesday from 4 to 5, and we hope you all join us so we can hear people like Jim coming on our show and co-host Ray Starling from Hawaii Energy. Okay, Jim, you've been here today. You've seen this. You heard what she said. What do you think? I think it's a tremendous opportunity for people to come together and talk about the issues. Oftentimes, there isn't a good forum to bring these key issues out into the public, and this is a tremendous way to go about it. And the, the activity of this show is essential to keep talking about energy because, as you said, it's such an essential part of our lives that we need to pay attention to it and we need to think about the future. Okay, Ray, your turn. Well, this is a special time in the history of Hawaii where we're making some pretty radical changes in the way we uh, use energy and generate energy. And this show is the one place you can count on coming to every Wednesday 
and hearing something about the latest issues that are on the table being discussed that will affect us all going forward. So uh, come join us and if you have some ideas you want to share with us about energy, uh, give us a call and let us know. We'll, we'll put you up here and, uh, and let you talk for an hour. So uh, come see us. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be, from Think Tank's point of view, it's great to have this show. We love the show. It's our, it's our most important <laughs> show. So come around and listen to us 4 to 5 on Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Bye. Aloha. Aloha. Well, welcome back. We're back. <laughs> we have our guest today, Kellyanne Davis, who, as we all know, has been around for a while already at a she, young age of uh, she's 15 years old. 15 years old. Got way more that? experience than we both. <laughs> <laughs> College, no. What <laughs> tenth grade, grade? Is that? Tenth grade? Tenth grade, huh? Wow, I can't even God, remember. I tenth remember grade tenth grade. Anymore. Anyway, she's uh, you know had the great band Chaotic Five for a long time. Right? You know, the, the first time I saw you, I was in the Alamoana Mall. I was getting a pair of slippers or something. I don't know. I usually <laughs> go to the mall and hang out, but I was going up the escalator and I looked down and, and you were jamming on this hot pink guitar and I, it, yeah. I was really impressed. <laughs> yeah. It was really crazy, huh? I was like, man, how old are those kids? They were, because you guys are young. A couple years ago already, right? Yeah. 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 You've been going for how long now with well, the band? With the band, we started it in 2011. 2011. Wow. That's a long four time. Four years. Four wow. years. And now you guys are just taking a little break. You had a lot yeah. of kids in the band, right? Like, yeah. come, come and go. And, like high school, yeah. middle school. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Good. So, uh, so how long have you been playing? I've been playing electric guitar for about mm, seven years. Seven years? Almost. Wow. wow, that's a long time. So you started when you were how old? Eight. I'm terrible at math. Eight. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> Makes it easier, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So did you start on guitar or did you? Yeah, like... you play other instruments? I actually started on piano when I was five years old. Five. Wow. On a piano. Five. five. Wow. Did you just that's crazy. Did you just feel it and just had to play? Did you hear it? I mean, do you... Oh, I you took lessons. Five, you, remember? you just took lessons. Yeah. You took lessons, huh? Wow. Cool. Yeah. So do you have a big piano now too? And you just I have a baby grand piano. Wow. wow. Like, actually traded in my old upright, so oh. it's a little bit cheaper. Well, uprights are cool. Yeah. I like uprights. I like yeah. uprights. Um yeah. The old saloon style. Man. You're not old enough to be in the saloon. Do you write on the <laughs> piano or the guitar? I write on both. Really? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I use the piano to kind of find the melody and the guitar for the chords. What's your process with that? I mean, I'm a songwriter, so I, I'm always curious about the process. Uh, do you have the the music first, or the lyrics first, or it just... Usually the lyrics come to me first, so hmm. maybe something happens in my life, and then I think about, like, a topic, and then I write down some lyrics for it, and then I add the music later. Wow, interesting. Because hmm. I usually go music first. Yeah. Just... What does this song say to me? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. And then usually it, it just writes itself. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. That's usually the best ones, huh? They write themselves. Yeah, they, they do. They come out of nowhere. They do. And there they are. Have you ever been moved writing a song? Like moved to tears or anything like that? Writing a song? No. Yeah. No? Not. After you yeah. play I it? I don't think I've had any experiences like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. true. Really, yeah. really excellent. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. So, so uh, you also uh, you have a movie coming up too, huh? Yeah, it's called Jackie Claxton Greener Pastures. Wow. wow! And how did that happen? Like you're a musician, and all of a sudden, poof! I'm gonna act. <laughs> I think I feel like acting today. <laughs> well, uh, one of my friends, Tony Young, uh, asked me to play yeah. Jackie Claxton. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, did you go? Uh, did you? Try out for a part, or um... actually, I was supposed to be in a smaller role, but then I went to go audition for the role of Jackie Claxton, and I got it. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. amazing. You must be <laughs> your talents are just like yeah, you know, crazy. Actually, it's only my first time acting, so I'm not that good yet. <laughs> well, you did something I right. Bet you're probably you did something right, I hear, to get that part, and yeah. uh, you know, you went in for a little role and came out like star of the. Movie. Uh, is, I want can, one of those roles. When can we? <laughs> when can we see this movie? Where can we see it? Where can we see it? Well, next Thursday it's going to be at Ward Theaters, so they're going to have a 5:30 and a 7:30 showing. Mm, okay. Cool. I want to go to that. Is there a place we can find out where that information is in case we don't remember? Well, you can check out the Jackie Claxton Facebook page. Awesome. Or my Facebook. Or her Facebook. Yes. How many Facebook Probably friends Lola do you have? page too. After this. I'm curious about this. How many Facebook friends do you have? I don't go on Facebook a lot. That's good. Oh. That's good. That's probably healthy. 
<laughs> it's yeah, good I not to count your healthy. friends. <laughs> <laughs> She's too Remember busy. Remember that. Now. Don't count your friends. <laughs> yeah, don't count your friends. Don't keep track of how many friends. It's not a contest. <laughs> it's not a contest. It's not a contest. It's not a contest. No. So how's, uh, what's like the homework and music? What's the, what's the ratio of homework to guitar practice? Is there time to be on the volleyball team? No. <laughs> I wish. She's too short for volleyball. Oh, I, I can't say I that. Can be a I can <laughs> uh, Yeah, I kind of wanted to do volleyball, but I don't think there's any formula I have for, like, uh, sorting homework. out homework and guitar. It just, I just do it. Yeah, but <laughs> so he's one, like, homework priority, though, right? Got it. Yeah, homework priority, School. and I squeeze in my music whenever I can. Yeah. That's awesome. But that's like riding a bike for you already, so you just keep riding, yeah. keep going, keep riding, and advance keep as you go. And keep moving, yeah. keep getting gigs. Music will never leave you, ever. No, it won't. No. 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 It, it, yeah. It, yeah. I tried to get rid of it. My mom would look at me and she'd just be like, when are you going to be done with this rock and roll thing? And it was like yeah. uh well, see, when we were growing oh, up, it was like, oh, you're not going to make it. But nowadays, you know, yeah. with you guys, everybody wants to be a musician. So yeah. it's really popular, and so you really got to work hard now mm -hmm. and kind of fight for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So only the good survive. Only the strong survive. Yeah, you right? just keep doing it, man. Yeah. So. So you got, um, I got a question for you that she didn't want to talk about, so we're going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Time no. for a boyfriend? We're on TV. No. 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 Okay. No. So good That's news like, for you. There's no, forget Your classmates are excited now. They know that officially. Are you like um, a star in school? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You're humble, huh? I mean, some people know that I have a band and stuff, but I don't really advertise it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They all know it already. You don't have to advertise anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's cool. Stay humble. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's good yeah. advice. That's good advice, Joe. Yeah. Um, favorite, I like some of us. Favorite music? Mm -hmm. Favorite band? <laughs> I'd say one of my favorites is Led Zeppelin. Whoa. Wow, that's oh. awesome. Oh, wearing, we got some uh, pictures coming up. That's awesome. Yeah. That I'm was wearing, from the Ascent show, huh? Yeah. Pictures. What other bands? Led Zeppelin? What else you got? I'm wearing a Def Leppard shirt Def right now. Def Leppard. <laughs> they're still Very playing, cool. right? Def they, Leppard? Are they? I guess they were in concert probably. the other day. They're probably playing in one of those you know, bars because all the big 80s bands, they have to play in little, little bars yeah. and all that stuff. You go up and then you go down. Casinos and, you know, there's a big casino, you know, for that. Yeah. So, cool. Any uh, new bands? Do you like any new stuff? I like... Bands like Weezer, Young the Giant. I like some Nirvana and stuff like oh, that. Oh, cool. You're a rocker. Yeah, All right. You're a rocker, yeah. Well, I hate to interrupt this awesome conversation, but um, we have to share some time with the broad topic. We broad have, topics. Uh, Ooh, we got Kat Razor and, back and, today. Uh, and they're talking about Beethoven. Maybe today. someday you can get on their show and be, let them interview you. Like Those it. guys are. Well, here is this week's broad topic. That was written after he was going deaf. And yeah. so How he, did he, do that? he sawed the legs off of his piano yeah. so that it would vibrate on the wood floor. And that's how he wrote That's song. amazing. That's We're going to so talk about that. Hold that's on. So hold. Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait hold on. More. Because right now we have Broad Topic. What? Elena has something amazing to share. But this is Broad Topic. I'm Kat. This is Nancy. And this is Helena. I did that to expedite the introduction. Moonlight Sonata, written when uh, after he'd gone deaf, and so he saw... Wait, wait! You have to start from the beginning. Nobody knows what you're just talking about. We're talking about Beethoven. <laughs> and so, and Moonlight Sonata. And Moonlight Sonata. And <laughs> um, that was written after Beethoven had gone deaf, and he had sawed the legs off of his piano so that it would vibrate off of his wooden floor. Which is why... It but is why would that matter? So that he could sense the vibration of the note and feel what he was writing. But how did he know which note would go which with, with what vibration? He's Beethoven. I'm sure it was like 90% deaf and not like 100% deaf. So as he was going deaf, he just started I'm learning? I'm speculating, however. Okay, so um, he saw the leg legs off. He saw the legs off, put on the floor. And that's why it is so different from things like Ode to Joy. Right, in those In terms, what way? In that it's very drony and length and, and, you know, just 
whole notes and held suspended notes. Mm. I didn't know that. I had uh -huh. no idea. I knew he was, like, had gone deaf. Can you but I didn't imagine the, uh, what would you call it? I wouldn't call it desperation, but what, and if you're a composer and a musician, what is in your mind that you continue to compose when you're losing your hearing? Because you have to. Why do you have to? You have to. That's, I, oh my God, I always it's think about compulsion. that. If I so we were that. just talking today. What would you do, Helena, if you didn't play guitar? That I have no idea. We talked about almost that question <laughs> like who, scares me. What would you do? Like just today, I asked her, what would you no do idea. if you didn't have guitar? Um, she would I guess so I'd just go back to working at Hot Topic. This is Broad Topic. I'm Kat, this is Nancy, this is Helena. I said that because it would take them forever to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it. All right. Well, that was this week's broad topic, uh, talking about Beethoven. Which Pretty is interesting, just, huh? Yeah. yeah. Vibration. That's what music is, right? My, my favorite was when uh, uh, Nancy goes, he's Beethoven. <laughs> really? You know? How, he wants to cut the legs off his chair. How does he know which note? Well, he's freaking Beethoven, man. <laughs> of course. So... Um, when we come back from the break, Kelly is going to play a little song for us. We're pretty excited about that. And, yeah, we're going to have some live music today. She brought for her the first time, super yeah. fancy Martin, which beautiful is better than Martin. our guitar. Oh, it's not that fancy. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> All right. I love it. We'll be right back after this message. All right. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage here on Think Tech Hawaii. Center Stage airs every Wednesday at 2 o'clock, and of course you can check out our archives on YouTube or on Think Tech Hawaii anytime you like. Why should you do that? Because this is an arts show that I believe is making a difference in lives. We talk with uh, artists of various ilk. We talk with painters and, and writers, playwrights, novelists, poets, sculptors, dancers, um, you name it, directors, uh, uh, actors, of course. And we don't only talk about what people do, but we talk about how they do it. And my favorite part of the conversation, we talk about why they do it. And it's really common on this show to hear people say, wow, I didn't think about it that way. And it's very common to hear people afterwards who have seen the show say the same thing. And I hear all the time that people are inspired by the conversations that we have. So why don't you join us and be inspired too. That's Center Stage on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. We'll see you Center Stage. All right, we're back. Kelly Ann's going to play a little song for us here. Can't wait. Um, we're kind of excited about that. So uh, get out of your way. Okay. I don't have a lighter. Guitar. I can't actually, you know. Oh wait, who? We have a question from uh, uh, from our Twitter. One question before we, we play the song. Who taught you how to play the guitar? Well, my teacher from a long time ago, Nick Gertson, taught me how to play the electric guitar. The electric guitar. You played acoustic before that? Yeah, I played a little bit of acoustic before Just kind of tinkering around. Yeah. Tinkering but, around. Yeah, electric guitar is so much more easy to play. And learn <laughs> yeah, on. it's good that you play acoustic because I, I like when everyone learns on acoustics and then kind of advances to the electric. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I did. Yeah, that's the best. All right, here we go. This song is Blackbird by the Beatles. Ooh, Beatles, awesome. nice. Class on our show. <laughs> Blackbirds sing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to rise Blackbirds sing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life To be free, blackbird fly, blackbird fly into the light of the dark black night. Dark black night 
blackbirds sing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. <laughs> Awesome. I think I got chicken skin. Man. You know, Joe, I gotta say, I'm, I'm feeling a little emotional here, buddy. Me too. I really awesome. like having yeah. this show because yeah. Yeah. we get to hang out with amazing people and musicians, yeah. and that was awesome. We're basically just hanging out with all of you, all three of you out there. <laughs> all three of our audience members. <laughs> And remember, we're live today. We love we you. Be, remember that. We won't be live tomorrow. Uh, we won't be live tomorrow. That was really awesome. We'll be awesome. live tomorrow. But. Thank uh, you. My next question, uh, <laughs> your album, um, where can you get it? My album, you can get CD. it. CD. On CD. iTunes, oh. Amazon, and CD Baby. Wow. There also, is you Amazon, can huh? request for a hard copy on my Facebook. Awesome. Cool. So now we know where to get a hold of it. We got some cool... We, she gave us guitar, guitar picks, picks here. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to treasure this because I actually have a guitar pick collection. I have one, too. Well, what do you got? And this is going right actually, in Actually, Uncle Joe took this picture on oh, here. Oh, know. no way. Yeah, we've done a few photo shoots together. That's an Uncle Joe original. Yeah, that That's is cool. awesome. Yeah. Oh, really? really? I'm going to treasure it even, even more Even more so now. Now I'm really getting emotional. <laughs> because you took it. <laughs> My favorite part of that is when she <laughs> called him Uncle Joe. Yeah. Which is really good. Now, um, you guys are killing me. Yeah. No, oh, stop getting it. Getting all emotional. This is oh. a great thing, oh, man. We're loving this. Look, this was from the station. Yeah, that was in the station. Wow. This was the night you all you played both you guys the... played. This was awesome. And yeah. that's um, Daniel. Daniel, yep. You guys been playing together a long time? Yeah. yeah. I think you were playing back Blackbird in that picture because he had got the violin out. Doesn't uh, he play the violin? Dust in the song? wind. He plays like everything. Wow. Violin, saxophone, piano, guitar. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty talented, huh? You There's guys been playing together how long? He's been in the band for about three years, I think. I've wow. known him for about three years. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. I try to play all of those. I have a violin, but, you know, I go... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one that's purple. And, and I, I, I try to play Blackbird, but then I can't sing and play it at the same time. So, you know, <laughs> I feel like, you know... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good, buddy. <laughs> you rock out. I had a video we were going to show it. He wouldn't let me show uh, it. Next time. Next time. So, uh, next year, maybe. Next year. Maybe next Sometime. year. <laughs> right on. Sometime when we don't have a musical guest that makes us all look bad. Okay? Um, <laughs> so we should talk about the weekend coming up. Uh, oh, you got yeah. any shows coming up? I think I got a show at Aloha Stadium. A lot. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's for like a <laughs> kill. It's for killing it. <laughs> Who's your brother? <problem? laughs> My mom Is it sold actually. Out? <laughs> it's not inside Aloha Stadium. It's like a tailgate party. Oh, oh. wow! I thought That's it was gonna be like you know like yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Kind of I wish. <laughs> Someday. You know, opening. Oh, I'm just opening for you too. Someday she's gonna be like, I'm returning home to Hawaii to play for all my old fans and friends, like Bruno. Yeah, you yeah, come yeah. back. Yeah. Except I, I probably it. won't charge as much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, we like the sound you of that. Give a, I, you should do a free show. Gotta give it back. I'll give you show. guys backstage yeah. pass. Oh, <laughs> awesome! That would be awesome. We're gonna hold you to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack Johnson did that too. He was the boy that uh, the good, the musician that went out and did good and came yeah, home. Yeah, he right. has a show every year. It's all recycle, reuse. We had some musicians go away and come, come back, back to Hawaii. There are really talented musicians here on the Aloha State. I'm telling you guys. You think so. you'll ever do like a mainland kind of cruise tour? Kind of thing? Yeah, definitely. I want to go back to LA next year and hopefully play some gigs. Wow. Los Angeles. Yeah. Love cool. Some LA. of the big rockers started there, man. Yep. Good yeah. place, yep. For sure. Excellent. So, what do we got coming up this weekend, Joe? I don't know. I, I do know the uh, uh, Metal Fest. Uh, no, it's the Monsters of Rock. Metal Fest. Monsters of Rock. At uh, Anna. Oh, yeah, Monsters Ryan's. of Rock. Sire. Sire and Leather Tees and, and Black Rose. Black Rose, yeah. yeah. All those wow. guys. Great it's gonna bands. Be a night of rock and roll. Heavy metal cover tunes. Animal really Brian's. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I like awesome. that place. Yeah. Awesome place. It's a good place. Yeah. 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 Been some great shows there lately and a lot of shows coming up. Yeah. At Anna's. Yeah, Not all do. the tribute shows are there. Well, the Kiss tribute show is at Anna's. It's got it's Rush really coming cool. up soon. Rush is coming you up. You like Rush? You old Rush fan? Sort of. Uh, they're like a, <laughs> they're the, the really talented guys. Yeah, they're in very talented. Yeah, that was one of the more talented 
sophisticated musician bands out there. Yeah, yeah? Rush. Very sophisticated. Yeah. 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 Musical geniuses. I like 2112, like man. 2112 is where it was at, totally. 2112, yeah. we used to have an A track, right? You know, our age, we had A tracks. So what is basically, that? you know, <laughs> a big plastic thing with the tape in it. And way, way before your time. We would time. put that in the eight track player, and basically, twenty one twelve just stayed in there, and yeah. it, you know, it it never stopped because it would just always play. Yeah, loop. It That's never awesome. ended. It just kept looping. Wow. So we never took it out. It just <laughs> stayed in forever. That's awesome. And you know, it always chunked to the next song, always in the same place. Or so. until it melted in the sun. That was yeah. always a good thing. Oh, yeah. melting. Yeah. You don't want to leave them on the dashboard. They'll totally. Do you remember yeah. like? You know, do you have any cassettes? You guys have cassettes laying around for, yeah. you know, for your mom and dad when they had that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I grew CDs. up with my mom's album collection. It was she was into Elvis, so I was really lucky. Yeah, mm. my first music was Elvis. That's cool. Yeah, Elvis is the. Uh, what was your first music that you can remember? Um. Well, when I was like a toddler, my mom used to put on shows like Baby Mozart or like. Baby Einstein and stuff like that, so classical music. Wow. wow. That's a great starting point, you know. That is a a lot of great guitar players have started with classical. Yeah, like Eddie Van Halen. Like uh, Eddie Van Halen, yeah. one of my favorites, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Got a soft spot. you ever tried nice. classical or anything? Do you ever play Classical it? guitar? Guitar, yeah. Like flamingo? I think flamingo, oh I've my tried, goodness. but it's pretty hard. It's hard. Yeah. Your fingers got to go kind of like, yeah. you know. Us people with small hands. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that Struggle is. a little bit. So uh, me and Joe last <coughs> week, we got a, we crawled into our little green screen room and we put together a little, uh, hopefully it's funny. We had fun doing it. We always have fun. You know, that's what so, we do. So uh, it's lasers at high noon. Why, you no good, dirty, low down, on the floor, son of a gun? What'd you call me? I said, why you no good, dirty, look, never mind. I challenge you to a duel. I said, you're mad with power, I swear, you uh, friend. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo! The Lola Brothers don't condone pistols or violence in any way, so don't try this at home and leave it to the professionals. No Vikings were hurt in the making of this video. What do you think of that? I told you we were Lolo. They didn't believe us. You know, the shorts and the slippers are really, like, fit with the You know, the we could probably work on the costumes We should work a on the costumes harder. a little bit, yeah. yeah. You know, we don't have time for that stuff. Yeah. It's you know. pretty hilarious. Well, We're going to have you over. You can do a funny video. We'd love for you to sure. come over I think you should do a fortune teller video or something. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. You know, we well, definitely I'm, need to do some more fortune tellers. Because the fortune teller, he's, you know, you wake him up, look he's, out, man. He's kind of grouchy, though. Good... <laughs> but, he, but he gives good advice for guitar players, you know, so. Bring money. Money's important. Like a $100 bill. <laughs> that was my cell phone. Oh, apologize for that right Aww, there. Oh, what did we tell you about that? Yeah, uh, we're getting, we're learning every There's day. That technology thing again. I like the motto for ThinkTech. You know, every I a thing, and I forgot to shave today. Yeah, we look like that's a, how lo-fi the show is, you know. I kind of did that too. We look like a couple of crusty old Buggers. sea captains. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, you don't really uh, have, don't have, have that to worry problem. about that for a while. <laughs> well, hopefully, for a while. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great. Maria! Um, <laughs> gosh, I lost my train of thought. I had something else I was going to say, and I totally just uh, Yeah, that's what it. we do best here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking Keeping of technology, hard. yeah. What, what do you people that see me walking out with like, my big camera and all that? Oh, that's right. Look at this little bit. Joe got a new camera? He's really excited about camera, it. camera, so if I look like a tourist walking around in the bars and stuff, trust me. It's small. But lighter really powerful. and more dangerous. It might be more dangerous. It's than called Excalibur one. Mini. That's Mini, Mini Excalibur. 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 That's a cool Excalibur, name. Excalibur, yeah. Uh, our buddy Raul named it, dubbed the first one Excalibur. Excalibur. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Joe is dangerous. When Excalibur kind of Excalibur. bit the big one one day, and the shutter just. Yeah. I used it too much. Right on. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I'm going to say this, uh, man, we're having such a good time down here, and if you ever want to come down here and join us, 
uh, in our down, we got a little gallery over here. You can watch us. Uh, uh, just write uh, J at thinktechhawaii.com, and uh, he can hook that up for you. And uh, we have credits in the back, but I really just want to come out and emphasize that we want to thank our studio engineers, Ian and Zuri, and our floor managers, Sashi and Nick, Sashi Slocum and Nick Sexton, and Jay Fidel, who is uh, happy. Jay. Put, yeah, he's. Love Jay. We love Jay. Jay we wouldn't do Jay gave us this show, man. Jay, would we? <laughs> and Donna. I would and like Donna. to thank Donna. How can we forget Donna. I'd like to go officially on the record and thank Donna Blanchard Donna. because she's thank a big Donna. influence and a big happy helper in this all of this madness. She kind of keeps our our tether, our and feathers tether, our balloons tethered. And yeah. she tweets. So, <laughs> do you have any shout outs for anybody? Shout outs. Hi, mom. Hey, hey, mom's mom. right over there. She's right over there. <laughs> boss Hi, dad. Lady. I call her boss lady. Yeah. Boss lady. Boss lady. Momager. Momager. The momager. Hey, boss. Yeah, she keeps you guys in line, huh? She's a good mom, though, huh? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, mom so uh, let me think of this. Is that it? Hi, mom. I think that's it. I'd like to thank my mom and my sister. I love you guys both. And my um, sister, yeah. Yeah, and oh, check out previous uh, broadcasts. Go to YouTube at Hawaii. Think tech, uh, thinktechhawaii.com. Boy, it's a big bunch of stuff to say. That's big for you, huh? It's a so, big word, I know. It's a pretty big word. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for joining us. We're going to be back again next week. Hopefully, they'll let us do this again because we're really having a heck we're of a darn good time. Show, yeah. When our guest will be, we don't know yet. We don't know. But Maybe we're going to make sure that, that happens. Who knows? And yeah, if you right? check the Think Tech um, uh, the website... Like the day before, we'll put Check it out, out the there. movie next week. The movie next week with yeah. Kelly Clarkson. Next Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Next Thursday at awesome. Ward Theater. Ward Theater. Ward yes. Theater. There Ward it is. Theater. What was the name of it again? Jackie Claxton Greener Pastures. Excellent. Actually, awesome. it's a part of a uh, Jackie Claxton Fest, so there's cool. going to be a lot of Jackie Claxton movies. Oh, cool. Awesome. Cool. All right, and you'll be one of those. Excellent. Well, thank you guys for having us, and uh, aloha. Aloha. See. You.